Now this is a this is this is going to be this this is an important thing. So we have eight year old Roman Shagdaziev amazes the chess world by beating five grand masters. The exceptional feat of eight year old Roman Shagdaziev triumphing over five grand masters in the World Rapid and Blitz Championship earned him praise from his idol GM Magnus Carlson. Carlson's double victory in the recently concluded event in Samarkand, Uzbekistan, wasn't the sole headline making story. Other noteworthy incidents included Polish GM Jan Krzysztof Studa's refusal to shake hands with Russian GM Denis Hizmetulin and the prearranged night dance of GMs Daniil Dubov and Jan Naponishi. A more positive story was the outstanding performance of the youngest player in the event, particularly eight-year-old Shogdaziev, whose rapid result will go down as one of the most sensational in history. This is truly remarkable. The youngest grandmasters we ever 12 years old. This is a world sensation. NRK's lead commentator, I am Torstein, Torstein Bay, set on Norwegian TV. The Russian beat two formidable grandmasters and secured draws against three others. Okay, it says he can potentially claim to be the youngest player to beat a grandmaster in a rapid event based on chess.com's unofficial research. GM A Wonder Liang holds the record as the youngest player to defeat a grandmaster in classical chess, accomplishing the feat at the age of nine in 2012. All right, Shogazia's first grandmaster triumph came against. Uh, came against Uzbek GM Jakungir Vakadov, an Olympic champion in round one. He continued with draws against experienced GMs Alexei Drev and Gadir Gusainov in rounds two and four. His next victim was GM Johan Sebastian Christensen, who told Norwegian TV, I had never even heard of him before. Maybe I should have. It's pretty crazy to be that good when you are eight years old. When I was th at that age, I had barely learned the rules. Okay. I should never in my life have lost that game, but I managed to mess it up in time trouble. Regardless, he played on an enormously high level and in a mature way, Christensen said. The eight-year-old even drew attention from Carlson. Those, ki the, those kids are strong. It's very impressive, he told NRK. It's fun to see. Maybe we'll see him at the very top in a few years. In an interview with NRK, Shogdaziev's mother said her son started playing chess during the pandemic at the age of five. She said he is determined to work hard to fulfill his dreams. Now, this is very uplifting to hear. And this is something that I think we're going to be seeing more of as time goes on. A lot of kids uh, trickling towards, um, towards IMGM and maybe the highest level as well. Players who have basically started playing during this pandemic. Okay. Um, we are not aware of his talent. We have regular jobs. And Roman wanted to play as a child. We, we wanted him to do something for his future and his mind and not play computer games or watch YouTube to play chess is good for him. And what's the future goal to become world champion and beat Magnus Carlsen. The prodigy eventually got to meet his hero in Samarkand. Okay. Um, he finished the rapid on an astonishing five and a half out of 13 and a rating performance of 24, 29, gaining 182 rating points. His performance wasn't much worse in the blitz where he beat strong jams, Kirill Shevchenko, Alan Picho and Pranav Anand, in addition to one IM. Shogdaziev is originally from a list in the Russian Republic of Kalmykia, known as the venue of several chess events in the 90s, thanks to former FIDE president Kirsan Ilyam Zhinov. The family has now moved near Moscow. Shogdaziev already has several prestigious titles under his belt. 2023 World Under-8 Champion, 2023 Asian Youth Under-8 Blitz Champion, 2023 European Youth Under-8 Champion as a 7-year-old. Shogdaziev lost almost 100 classical points in the Asian Under-8 Championship in December, and with a classical rating of 1802, is ranked only 8th in the world amongst players born in 2015 or later. However, he dominates in rapid 22-24 and 21-98 ahead of another 8-year-old prodigy, Britain's WCM boat Hanna Sivanandan, who dazzled in the recent European Blitz Championship. Shogdaziev wasn't the only kid to beat a grandmaster in Uzbekistan. 10-year-old FM Faustino Oro, the youngest to ever break 2300, beat Dennis Hizmetulin in the World Rapid Championship. The chess kid sponsor prodigy also finished IF, I am Rudik McCarran with a stunning move. So very, very good stuff here. Very clear that he's very talented. It's also very clear as I move into the next bit that we're going to talk about on this topic that there is something wrong with the rating system because it's very clear that this kid is not playing at an 1800 level. He's clearly playing at least a master level, if not higher. And yet his rating is 1802. And my assumption is twofold. First of all, I'm assuming that he simply does not have the opportunity to play a lot of over the board tournaments. As soon as he does, his rating will go up. But the second part of this article, which we have to cover, and this is much more related to Fide, is that I think there is something wrong with the rating system as a whole, because as we move on to the next bit of content, which we're going to cover here, uh, actually, let me, um, let me put the chat on this, because I don't think I can actually change the scene. Um, uh, where is it? Where, where, where is the, uh, there we go. 
Okay, control C, control D. All right. Um, I know it, it looks, is there, there's not a dark mode on this, I don't think. So is there a dark mode on this? I, I don't know there's dark mode on this. Maybe not. But anyway, all right. So Roman showed his ZF played in the Asian Youth Chess Championship in 2023 under eight. And he played in this term with a rating of 1901. And he lost a whopping 98.8 points. So you're thinking, wait, this kid drew these masters, these GMs. How did he lose 98 points? So when we look at the results of Roman, he beat an 1124, he beat a 1200, he beat a 1400, but then he lost three games. He lost to a 1500 player from Kazakhstan. He lost to a 1501 from Vietnam, and he also lost to a 1552 from Vietnam. Now, you're probably thinking, well, wait, what's going on? How does this happen? Now, I actually looked at the games because you got, oh, you guys can't see there, or you can see there are PGNs of these games. Um, as If we pull up these games, we're going to look at this game. Um, this is the first one that he lost. And as we, as we look at this game, like I've looked at this game already. Oh, do I, I actually can't use the arrows. I have to hit the button. So Roman showed us he was playing a 1500 player. Now this game that is played is actually kind of insane here because this is all theory, by the way, all these moves are pretty standard theory up to this point, knight d6, knight f5 here, knight e4, knight takes, and now we get knight h4 followed by f5. Now, no, the, the point of what I'm making here is that there's something wrong with the rating system. So I'm not going to go through deep analysis of this game. But when you look at this game, this 1500 that he's playing, this is not the game of 1500. The way that his opponent smashes him in this game is insane. You get rook takes c2, rook takes f2 tactic. Um, he wins the queen. He's temporarily up, temporarily up a queen. But rook takes b2, takes, takes rook b5, rook d3, rook d6, rook d1, g5. Black is up a couple of pawns. And black goes on to win this game very, very cleanly here. And... Honestly, if I look at this game, I was doing guess the Eli, I'd be like, wow, this kid the, or whoever played this game, they must be like 2,500 over the board. But no, the rating of this kid is 1511, which is why I think there's clearly something deeply wrong with the rating system right now, because this game is not a game that is played by a 1500, not even remotely close. Now let's go to the second one that he loses. He loses to 1500. Another game here is out of a slob, nothing too crazy. Uh, Roman showed Dizia playing with the black pieces here. He's playing at 1500. Now, 1500, very standard opening, could be even, but sooner or later, there have to be some blunders, right? Well, there are no blunders. His opponent actually just flat out plays him in this, this very, um, very, very sort of dry clogged position here. He, he, he basically gets this position. He doesn't play it perfectly, mind you, so we're not going to suggest anything, but you'll notice that this, this is a 1500 player rated 1500. Obviously they're better than that, but at some point, his opponent ends up going for a classic king walk here. He goes king e1, king d2, king c3, king b4 to win this game. And I'm sorry, but no 1500 would ever be able to play like this. Eventually, he figures out. He brings the king all the way over to the king's to the queen side, and he goes on to win this game eventually with this. There's a d5 push here, and um, eventually white wins this game. Just a very another game. E6, e7, great rook sack. Bishop d7, bishop c8, e8, queen. Amazing game. Another game that if you were to ask me with guess the ELO, is this a 1500 player? No, this player who's playing with white is not 1500 rated, but the rating is 1501. So this is the second example where Shogun ZF doesn't play a great game, but I honestly look at his play and I don't think his play is bad, but these, these kids ratings are clearly out of whack because this player is not a 1500 rated player, not even close. No, this is not 1500 level. If you look at this game, this is not 1500 level. I, you ask any top GM, they'll be like, holy mackerel, this is a 1500, not even close. This is way above a 1500 level, both of these games. So, and then let's go to the third game as well, where he's playing with the white piece against another kid from Vietnam. And it's a pretty normal standard opening. We got a Karo Khan here, nothing too crazy from the start. This one, I'm not sure if I've actually looked at, by the way, but he, he, queen c6, king h8, king f2, rook e8, takes, 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 and... This one I've actually not looked at. This one looks much more normal. This one might be normal, actually. How did he lose this game? How did he lose this one? This looks... This one This one looks actually like... It, it, this looks like a master level game. The other The other games look like GM level games. This... Oh, he blunders rook b2. Yeah, this one This one I hadn't seen before. Um, yeah, he blunders attack. This looks, this, looks, this looks like maybe like a master level game, not anything wow. Uh, cause he just blunders a basic tactic. So this one doesn't look crazy, but those other two games, when you look at them, it's very clear that these kids, I don't know if they don't have a chance to play or what's going on. Um, but it's, it's very, very clear that at least as these other two games, these kids are not, these are not 1500. These they're literally playing at like a 2,400 level, at least, at least when you look at those games, and I think any top level of GM who looks at the games would probably agree. Um, 
So it's very clear that as far as ratings go, there's something wrong with the system. Um, and we even saw it in Sitges where Lenny or Dominguez played against a 1500 or not 1500. He played against an 1800 rated kid. Now Dominguez won that game. Let me see if I can find it. Um, but he won the game against the 1800 Indian kid, but nonetheless, he was not winning after the first 20 moves of that game. Now, eventually he did win, but that was someone who was rated 1800. So clearly there's something wrong with the rating system right now. And I don't quite know exactly what it is, but Fidi, I think needs to sort of figure out what's going on. I know it's like, there's like the K factor needs to be increased or what's going on, but something I think needs to change. So that's the last little bit of article that I'm going to cover for right now. Um, let me change the scene, of course. Uh, 